What is up guys, Rick Kakis here, and this is the complete guide for how to get the Outbreak Prime Exotic Wrath of the Machine Raid Pulse Rifle for Destiny. Now this exotic pulse rifle is awarded for completing the exotic quest, Channeling the Corruption. However, to gain access to this quest, you have to do something first, and that something is completing the raid and activating all five monitors. Now, at the very beginning of this guide, I would highly recommend that you have a fire team of two titans, two warlocks, and two hunters when embarking on the quest to get this exotic pulse rifle. Now, the reason for this will become very relevant very soon. Now let's move on to how to access all five monitors. The first one is located in the first boss fight encounter. Head to the front left room and there's actually a fan. Jump up above this fan and there is a secret pipe. Head through this pipe and you will find the first monitor you can activate. Moving on, the second monitor is located in the room that you pass through to get to one of the secret chests. Before going on towards that secret chest through the hallway, you can actually just turn around, jump on the scaffolding, as you can see here, jump on the iron girders, and then you can ascend even further to another secret room with another monitor. Moving on, the next monitor is located just after the siege engine falls off the edge. You can see a very small kind of SIVA triangle sticking out of the wall. If you shoot this triangle, part of the wall will blow open and you can jump down to this exposed area, head inside to yet another secret room and find yet another monitor. Now the fourth monitor until last night when the Destiny Raid Secrets crew went absolutely crazy, did a massive amount of work decoding ARG images and piecing together this puzzle for all of us peasants to understand. To activate the fourth monitor, what you need to do is enter into the server room of the raid. Once you're here, just kill enemies as normal and pass into the next room. This room with the giant black diamond actually houses the fourth monitor. What you need to do is to have four people in this black diamond room and the other two people at the monitors located in the positions here shown by this server room map. The fourth monitor is accessed by your fire team members standing on the right canisters at the right time. Now to first begin this puzzle, all you need to do is to have four fire team members stand on these four highlighted canisters as you can see in this very convenient server room map. Once you have your four fire team members standing on these four canisters, it will unlock the next part, and your other two fire team members can now actually go to those monitors and actually activate them by holding square, just like the other monitors. However, just activating them once isn't enough, and this is again the start of a huge puzzle. Activating the monitors will give you four digit codes. These four digit codes are actually binary for the coordinates of where your four fire team members in the diamond room need to stand on those capsules. The monitor on the left side of the server room will give the coordinates in binary to the column. The monitor on the right side of the server room will give the coordinates in binary to the row. 
Now simply Google binary numbers and get an image similar to this because you're going to be getting codes exactly like this. For example, on one of the monitors it may display 0100 which is just a 4. So you'll have your two fire team members activate the monitors, not necessarily at the exact same time, but relatively the same time. The person on the left monitor will give you the coordinate for the column. Now the columns are oriented this way in the server room. And remember, you are starting in section 00. zero. So you're going to have one of your fire team members step on the correct capsule in the section 00, zero and then 01. 0, 2, and 0, 3, with eventually all four fire team members standing on the correct capsules. If you are standing on the correct capsule, it will actually glow when you activate the monitor again. So going back to that code, the left capsule will tell you which column to stand in. The columns are very clearly marked within this room with it saying, you know, column 4, column 3, column 2, etc. And then the rows are oriented this way, with this row being row 0, this one being row 1, row 2, etc. So in the simplest of terms, you utilize the monitors to find out which row to jump in from the left side monitor and then find out what canister in that row to actually jump on from the right side monitor. Do this for all four sections of the diamond room and when you have all four fire team members standing on the correct canister, it will open that giant black diamond and expose an exotic chest actually and that fourth monitor. From here, continue the raid as normal until you defeat Axis, the final boss. Once you defeat him, hop off the back of the platform and head down to the secret chamber. You can activate the last monitor and open the pathway to that final secret chest. Opening this chest will start you off on the exotic quest line to get this exotic pulse rifle. After going back to the tower and talking to Shiro 4, you will be officially underway with the exotic Channeling the Corruption quest. And this quest is quite the doozy. The first step in this quest is to complete a Nightfall Strike, do three public events in the Plaguelands, and yes, Archon's Forge counts, do three Crucible matches or Heroic Strikes, and lastly, get 50 kills with Pulse Rifles. Now that sounds all pretty easy, but the important part is that you have to do all of these things with a fire team of a Warlock, a Titan, and a Hunter. So that's why at the beginning I said, make sure you have an even spread of these three different classes. Now once you complete all of these activities with your fire team, the next step is going to be to activate, to power your SIVA engine. You will need to go to a social space, so something like the tower, or the iron temple, or even the reef. Once you are there, go into the mission items section of your inventory and press triangle on the PlayStation Y on the Xbox to inspect your SIVA engine. This is going to bring up your puzzle where you need to get from one number on one side to the other number on the other side by adding and subtracting etc. The squares that literally have an arrow pointing up add numbers and the other squares minus them. However, that's really not important until later because here are the exact codes. For the Titan, you'll have bottom, middle, bottom, middle, bottom, middle. For Warlocks, you are going to go bottom, middle, top, middle, bottom. And for Hunters, you're going to go middle, bottom, middle, middle, bottom. Once you and your other fire team members of the other classes have all completed their SIVA engines, you can activate the other two nodes at the very back right hand side of this SIVA engine puzzle. Once you've activated all three with your other teammates, you'll be able to go on to the next step. Turn the quest into Shiro 4 and he will give you a new SIVA engine, a charged SIVA engine. The next step of this quest has you explore the Plaguelands, fight in the Archon's Forge, and destroy Sepix Perfected. Now exploring the Plaguelands really doesn't have anything to do with exploring. All you need to do is kill enemies 
in patrol mode in the Plague Lands. So just go to the Archon's Forge, do that activity, and you'll just kill enemies, get Siva Tech from killing these enemies, and that Siva Tech is going to fill up your meter from 0 to 100%. Once you've fulfilled your Plague Lands Bloodlust and done enough of the Archon's Forge activities, you're simply going to have to go over to the Devil's Lair Strike. Remember to up the light to the 320 version. You have to kill Sepix Perfected, not normal Sepix, although that would be kind of funny. And then once you kill Sepix Perfected and have done all of these other things, you will unlock the next part of this quest. Now moving on, you will need to complete yet another math puzzle with your SIVA engine charged, but thankfully, yet again, I have the exact answers. Moving from the first column in the left to the last column in the right, with each of the rows being 1, 2, 3, and 4 from top to bottom, the order that warlocks have to put it in is 1, 3, 3, 3, and 4. For titans, it's 4, 2, 1, two, three. And for hunters, it's two, four, four, one, four. Once all of your fire team members have completed this puzzle, they all click on the end node at relatively the same time and it will complete itself and you'll be able to unlock the next step. Now the next step is unfortunately doing the entire Wrath of the Machine raid again. You have to collect three control grids. These three grids are dropped from the three main bosses. You'll get one as soon as you beat the first boss encounter. With Vasic the Arc Priest, you're going to get another one when you defeat the Siege Engine and you're going to get your third and final control grid when you defeat the final raid boss Axis. Now once you've completed the raid, head back to a social space for the final step in this exotic quest and unfortunately it's one final math puzzle and even more unfortunately I don't have the answers this time. Every single one of you will have a slightly unique grid. You're going to have to get from one side to the other and all of your teammates are going to have to reach the same number. The best way to do this is to simply have one of your teammates, it doesn't matter who, decide which of their starting numbers to go for. For example, my group went for my starting number which was 740. All you need to do at that point is to get from one side, so you're going to start at 740 let's say, and try to make it add up to 740 by the end. So you're going to have to minus some stuff, plus some stuff, until it eventually equals out. There's really no trick to this other than getting out a calculator and literally starting to plug in the numbers, seeing where you come out. If you're a lot over, maybe hit a higher minus number. Again, remember the squares with arrows pointing up add numbers, the other squares with diamonds subtract numbers. Now, after your fire team members have all reached the exact same number, so all of your fire team members have reached 740 or whatever other arbitrary number you have reached, don't just think of a random number like 3, it has to be a number that you can actually reach with these squares. But in any event, once all of your fire team members have reached this same number, you can finally complete the last node in the SIVA engine unstable device. And once you do that, head to Shiro 4 and he will have your Outbreak Prime. Now that is how you complete start to finish the exotic quest to get the Outbreak Prime exotic pulse rifle. Very importantly though, you can also see in Shiro's inventory, he is selling SIVA engine replicas both for the unstable and charged. This means that you can actually buy one of these replicas and if you've already done this quest, you can help your friends. So if your friends need a warlock or if someone you know needs a warlock, they have a titan and a hunter and they need that last missing puzzle piece, you as a warlock can actually buy one of these replicas and go and help them do it.
Now guys, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed and found this helpful. And if you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video, even if it's just telling a friend. Now if you want to see more Destiny content similar to this from me, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter, that's linked in the description down below, as is my Twitch channel channel which you can also follow. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.